Just don't survive without it. Guess what, guys? Guess what I have? Just wait. Let's just take a look. See here. I'm gonna show you some of the stuff that I got for the car. Got this car guy stuff. It's for your seat. Well, it's for everything. So I just got that. I have leather seating. So we gotta keep her upright and not crusty and crackling. But I got this little emergency thing. So if you get stuck or in a car accident or you're in the river somewhere, I don't know. You can cut your seat belt off on this end and then you can break the window and then you're free. I don't know, but a panoramic mirror. And then I got these little car hooks. I just have a little, a little trash can. And it comes with trash bags. Anyway, that's all I have for now. See you later. I'm sad because the trash can won't fit on the door because there's like a little lip. So I think I'll just put it back here. Hey, so I got really excited showing you guys the car yesterday. Um, so it's a new day, but I just want to talk about a few things. So yes, I have a new car. It is a Lincoln MKS. It's a 2016. I love it, love it, love it, love it. I'm super excited to drive it. Um, hopefully I get everything squared away tomorrow. And then I'll be street legal and I can just drive her back to Huntington. So yeah, today I went to the DMV to um, renew my license plate. I did not keep up with my license plate, so she was extremely expired. I'm talking about 2019 when I had my other car expired. And I think you can only go for like six months to a year with it being expired. So I have to get a new plate, but it's okay. Um, the lady even took it, so I can't even keep it as a souvenir, so whatever. Everything that I have in my old car is gone. So I couldn't get a new license plate today because I have to be added to my mom's insurance. But yeah, like I said, I have a 2016 Lincoln MKS. She has a lot of features in it that I really like. There's a sunroof and a moonroof. The sunroof opens up, the back one does not. It has AC and heated seating, Bluetooth. Of course, um, it's a push start and it's a remote start, which I really like. So I did go car shopping two weeks back. Um, it was a lot of fun. It was very exhausting. It makes for a long day. I didn't know that test driving car is made for a long day. And I only test drove six cars, one being the Lincoln. I really liked every car that I drove. However, my grandpa, he was like, do you want to drive the Lincoln? And I was like, well, yeah, why not? And I really liked it. There's this Hyundai Veloster. I had a name for it and everything. And I was like, this is the one. This is the car for me. It was a 2019. It was um, certified pre-owned. It was little. It basically had everything that I liked that's in the Lincoln. Then I drove a um, Nissan Sentra. It was an electric blue color. It was really cute. She had a remote start um and then a push start but that was a pretty much all the features that it had it was a pretty color um oh it had the backup camera it had like the little sensors that whenever you get too close to something or when somebody gets too close to you i drove a toyota camry she was the most expensive that i test drove so i knew that was just like out of the picture toyotas are really nice cars and my mom has a toyota she has a corolla and i know how they drive and everything and i really like that one it was a pretty moon blue color i drove a hyundai elantra it was a 2019 i think it was the dirtiest I will say and I know like when you go to the dealerships they'll clean that stuff up for you but I was just like wow this is really dirty and it also had a lot of mileage on it um but it was a red color I don't really care for a red car I didn't really want a red car it drove nicely it was a nice car all the cars that I drove drove really nice so it's like uh it didn't come it came down to 
what was I really working with? What was I really willing to pay a pretty penny for? Um, I also drove a Mitsubishi Outlander Sport. That was the first compact SUV that I ever drove. It was really nice sitting up high, but in the Lincoln I still sit up high. Um, again, just pretty standard, came with the basic. Didn't do anything too crazy, but I like that it was a, a bigger vehicle, but not nothing too big. I do have some things, more things that I want to order. I may go ahead and order them now, but I also may wait and talk to my mom about it. So I'm at the dollar store to um, get some stuff for the car. At Walmart to look for more stuff. <laughs> anyway, the safety kit, what's in there? Safety kit, it's got the flares and stuff. <gasps> Ooh, pepper spray. S Mom found this. Ooh, good. It's a, uh, what's that? A personal yeah. alarm. My mom had found the safety kit. One. Oh, that's ugly. A grocery basket. Yeah, I have one in my It's $24, but that's so cute. I think I like that. I'm so, um, Cheez-Its decided to make some new stuff. They have these puffs. These are really hot, as you can see. Scorching hot cheddar. They also have popcorn. Do you want to try the popcorn? Mm. We're going to try the popcorn. Hello, hello, I am back from the store and let me just go ahead and show y'all what I got. Her name's Lux, by the way. Ugh. We got a lot. Okay, the first two things that I got are some little bags to put stuff in. One's gonna be for like my emergency kit and then this is gonna be like for, you know, necessities and whatnot. I have this safety kit and inside it has an emergency poncho, a flashlight, a signal cone, some gloves, some band-aids, emergency seatbelt cutter window breaker things which I already have in the car but it'll be nice to have two, portable battery, some alcohol wipe, and a tire gauge. Walmart, $14. I have an umbrella. Just needed a smaller one to put in the car just in case I don't bring the big one. Got some tire shine. Just have me a little poncho in case I don't have like a raincoat. And it comes with a storage bag. Okay, next things that I have are some wipes for the car. These are both armor all. One are leather cleaning wipes and treatment wipes. And these are just protectant wipes. Some glass water repellent rain -X. this is at the dollar tree three dollars okay five dollars but yeah rain -X. who knew all oh, this is from the dollar tree okay first thing that we got is um a little toothbrush and toothpaste crest 3d whitening two of these little clorox to go pack these are disinfecting wipes as well um i got a notepad and some pens just in case I need to write something down real quick. Some microfiber. Mi blah, 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 blah. Some micro. Next thing that I have here is the charcoal dental floss. I have like three things of dental floss. I also have these, some cotton swabs. I have some goodie hair ties and bobby pins some more microfiber towels these are black some cuticle oil some nail clippers some tweezers as well i have some advil that i got a nail file some dove um nourishing body care rich nurse nourishment cream i smell it just smells like lotion um, I got me this little mini sewing kit just in case I need to sew something. Um, some athletic tape. Just in case. You never know. I got this Palmer's Coconut Oil Formula Body Lotion. I just got this little scraper. Um, I, I intend to get a different kind. 
um a, probably a bigger one i also saw this one on amazon that's heated that i thought was really cool but in case i forget when the winter time comes i have this some mouthwash just in case i need it i got some gum then i also i have found the crest scope do you guys remember these whenever you were little i remember i used to like get them every now and again and i'd use them and brush my teeth that's cool i haven't seen any in forever so i was like yeah let me grab me some of these dollar tree a dollar 25 not everything's a dollar at the dollar tree anymore it's a dollar 25 they went up and the last thing that i got from the dollar tree was these rolled gauze which will also go in my first aid kit okay and then the rest of the stuff came from walmart it's just whatever i couldn't find at the dollar tree first thing i got is some neosporin um some more wet ones some kleenex these have flossers and toothpicks i have some spray deodorant i wanted to get some spray deodorant instead of um regular because i didn't want it to melt the dove shea butter zero aluminum deodorant spray um i got some liquid bandage in case I run out of band-aids, which I have band-aids. I use the Nest Care. Got some of these. A little mini lint roller. And I got some calamine spray. I didn't know they made spray. I'm gonna put everything in between these two little bags. I should have got more fun colored bags, but it's okay. There was this really cute bag at TJ Maxx. It had butterflies on them. And if any of you guys know me, I love butterflies oh also i got these tied to go pins and that's the last thing that i have now i know i went to the dollar tree i i know but i i really thought that maybe just maybe they would give me more than six pills but that was my my mistake We're in the car now. Bear with me. Um, I don't know where I'm gonna put the camera. I have this. This has all my nice things in it. I think for now, this is just gonna go in the back where I can just reach it. Sunglasses. I can put my rear view mirror. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. I might use it around Huntington once I get up there. But as of right now, I don't think I... You can see way more than you could before, but I don't know if I really like that. I might take it back. Okay. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Like, if I wanted to do, like, my makeup in here, yeah, sure, this works. But I think it just shows me too much of the car. Like, and not enough of the road. I think this would be great if you had kids and you needed to look for your kids. But for me... I might sell it. My umbrella I can put on the side. I need like a basket for the back. One of these microfiber cloths. I'm gonna put one in here. So I have tissues. Just have my lint roller, one of these things, my to-go stick, gum. I might change it up once I get more stuff. Hello? I just found my trunk button. It's in the glove box. That's so cute. Oh, I just found a freaking secret compartment in my car. You know how this sits up? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Cool, cool, right? It usually sits like this, right? It looks like this. Boom, more storage. Like, I literally love this thing. Like, oh my gosh. For any passengers, I have heated seating back here. Okay guys, so I just finished the right next stuff. So I'm just gonna give you one last look of everything before I wrap up this video. Here we go. that 
I have right now for this Lux over here, but I am in the works of getting more things. I have some stuff ordered and on the way, so if you guys want to see that, check out my TikTok, which is linked down below, and it will be right here on the screen. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys next time. I don't know what kind of video I'll be doing, but yeah, I'll see you guys later.